Uh, yes, hello, Roy. This is uh, my name's Rich. Uh, you left a note on my car about a ding. Um, would you please give me a call when you get a moment? My number at work here is two two. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Hello. Hi, it's uh, Roy. I I left a note on your car about a month ago about the ding damage. Yes. So yes. So, sorry to take uh, so long to call back on that. No problem. Uh, I didn't see much damage. Where was the damage at? Oh, it was just along the side. Well, the thing is, the reason you didn't see it is because I'm a time... I, I know it's hard to believe, but I'm a time traveler. And the damage that's going to occur actually isn't going to be until next week on the 21st. That's a Friday. Well, it's not there yet. Yeah, yeah, it'll be there. It, it, this happens to me all the time with all the time traveling I do. I'm actually calling from 2015, but I was in town. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? I'm sorry, what? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Okay. So, um, uh, what, What's your last name, Roy? Gerbil. G-E-R-B-I-L. Yeah. Okay, well... Um, well, at this point, um, I guess I guess we wait till it happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. if it's going to be on the twenty first, I think it was it, it was dark, so I guess in the evening. So maybe if you have a, a garage, you could put your car in the garage, and okay. hopefully it won't happen. But that could cause a paradox and disrupt the space time continuum, and we really don't want that. So it might be best if you just leave your car out, and you know, then we'll exchange insurance info. Okay, well, I'd so I'll call you after the 21st. Yeah, yeah, that'd be best. All right, okay. All righty, well, thank you for your call. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll be in touch. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Ray. Bye -bye. Goodbye. What, how, why did he believe that? That was weird.